everybody, you got Mike with the Tour Hangout. I'm coming to you with another, uh, it's not really a quick tip, this is going to be a little bit longer. Several folks have asked questions about the guild system and uh, setting up privileges and whatnot. Now, there are two ways to set up guilds right now in, in Star Wars The Old Republic. This is recorded on the last day of beta, so that'll give you a time reference. Right now, phase three of the guild um, uh, system has been locked, and guilds are going to be assigned to different servers, and you'll be able to go to those servers on day one that you're allowed to go in a game. Your guild's, guild's going to be already set up. You're going to be able to head on in and start uh, adjusting the things that I'm going to show you here in a second. Or you're going to roll on a server and you're going to establish your guild um, a manual way, which we have a quick tip up for that if you want to learn how to do that. Show you what you can do while you're in game. Um, anytime you're in a guild, you have normal guild uh, tab hitting G. Uh, defaults to showing no members. I had it showing everybody. It looks very similar to, to other games and how their guild interface looks. You have the ability to uh, show a few different fields here depending on your privileges as uh, whatever rank you have. Guild rank, you can show uh, that there. You can show, of course, uh, last played, member note, officer note if you have that privilege, and their guild rank, which we just showed. In here, you also have a spot that you can set message of the day for officers or whoever has the rank. Simply hit edit. You're able to input that information. As soon as you, you input that, it's going to flash across the uh, guild channel so everybody can see it when it's changed. And when, when you log in, you're going to have the message of the day pop up in your face. It's also a description tab that you can put information in here for your guild, such as your Mumble or Ventrilo server information, uh, forum address, anything that you want in there that uh, is just something that they can kind of get to when they need to. So it's a nice little spot to have there. Now up here you've got a details uh, button that allows you to open up a bigger version of this. I'm going to go ahead and turn off guild in the back. Uh, right here it's basically the same information except for the ranks tab. The guild master has the ability to set ranks, add ranks, and remove ranks. Um, I have not tested removing all of them, but I do know that you can remove these uh, ranks that are here. These are the default ones that come with it. Recruit, member, lieutenant, officer, and guild master. You can edit the rank description by adding some text here. If I could type, I'm just going to put some information in this and this will then show up in the description tab. Uh, you can remove a rank by clicking on it and uh, simply, let's go ahead and get rid of my officers here. I don't have any set up and this is going away anyway. Ask if you're sure. You go ahead and say yes. Now I'm going to try this here for testing during this. I'm going to try removing this rank and it's not going to allow me because I have members in it. So that's that's really good to know. All right, to add a rank, you simply hit the add a rank button. We're going to create a rank here, call it test rank. Puts it down at the very bottom of the menu. You can then move that rank by using these arrows. So you can put it wherever you want it to be, which allows you some customization on, on where people are entered into the game. And then you can set your privileges. Um, Guild chat has view or send. So you can make a, a rank that only allows them to view it and not send to it. Let's say you need a uh, disciplinary channel or, or something like that, rank that uh, you need to bump people down to in case of anybody getting hacked or anything like that. Officer chat preview, you can turn that on, uh, view and send. Message of the day, if they have the privileges to do that. If they have privileges to edit the guild description. Member notes, if they can view the member notes or edit the member notes. Officer note permissions, of course, you probably only want your officers and guild masters or any ranks like that to have the ability to view and edit those. And then member, member management, who's allowed to invite to the guild, who's allowed to set rank, and who's allowed to remove. So these are the privileges we have right now in the current beta build that's getting set to go live. Um, we don't know if there's going to be any major changes before um, launch on the 20th or the pre uh, head start, which assume presumably is going to be around the 15th. So uh, this has been a very basic and simple look at the management system for the guilds, and I hope you find it useful. Uh, look forward to seeing you in game. It's coming close. See you soon.